few of my subscribers asked me that they have learned how to annotate in Google Classroom using Kami extension. But sometimes students don't see their work marked and have issues so I have made an easy solution for it. Stick around, I'll show you how. Please subscribe my channel, like and share and hit the bell icon for more informative videos. So what are you waiting for? Click on the subscribe button below. First you will open the Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge and you will write classroom.google.com and press enter. Now I'll open one of my class and then go to classwork and then click on any of the assignment which you have given. So now this is the assignment the student have turned in and one is assigned who has not submitted the work till yet. So usually what you do, you just click on uh, one of the assignment. You just uh, check the work and then annotate it like this, for example. And then you just uh, give the marks, for example, this a 20, all are correct and you return the work and then you close it. So this is how you usually do it. Uh, but what actually you need to do, uh, what happens sometimes the connection of the internet is slow. So at that time, uh, annotation uh, using Kami is not safe properly. So when you return all the work later on, the students say that our work is not uh, annotated or when even you see the work is not annotated. So how to uh, overcome this thing? You simply need to do uh, this, that just right click on it, open a new tab like this and then again right click open new tab and then again right click and open a new tab. These all assignments are open in uh, different tabs which you can see here on the top. So it will take a while to open. The first one will open uh, more quickly and then the other one will take more time. But uh, what will happen as soon as you uh, finish checking one assignment and then you check click on the other. The other will be open by that time. So in this way, you will save your uh, so much time because when you open a file, it takes some time to open. So by this method, when you open multiple tabs, I recommend uh, seven to eight tabs uh, at once. If you have 20 students, then open first seven or eight tabs and then check their work, then open eight more tabs like this. So it will help you checking uh, easily and uh, the time will also be safe. So what I'm going to do here, I'm again marking uh, this student work. This is correct. So I'm putting right and then there is a mistake here, for example. So just I'm marking it and then I'm clicking it again. So and this is also correct. So I'm giving 18 marks. OK, and uh, I'll be clicking here on return and I'm again clicking on return. Now I'll not uh, be closing this tab directly. What I'll do, I'll just click on the next tab and then I'll mark uh, that student also. Now let's say this is marked. So now again, I'll give uh, marks and then again, I'll click on return. And now I'll click on the last step. So this is the last step and uh, you can see already the marking is there because I have checked it. My internet speed is good. So that's why I immediately close uh, it last time, but it is still marked here. If this is not marked, it's mean that the internet speed uh, was slow. That's why uh, it, it wasn't saved. Now, one more important thing I want to tell you here that when you click on save here, you see there's an option auto save. Make sure that this is checked also. If this is not checked, then uh, it will not auto save and you will have a problem and the student will not be able to see it. So this is the solution. This is the easy solution that uh, you can check and annotate. Now, what will I do? I close all the tabs now. So what will happen that all of my work is saved. So I hope you have understood that we need to open multiple tabs and how we need to open that I have already taught you that you need to open multiple tabs. Then you, you need not to close it and check all the work it will uh, give you two benefits. The first one that whatever annotation you do in Kami that will be safe properly, student will be able to see it. 
and the second benefit is that you will save a lot of time because when you open multiple tabs uh, first you will be working on the first tab and by the time on the back other tabs will be starting and they, they will be loading so by this uh, when you click on the next tab you don't have to wait if you find this video helpful then do give me a like subscribe my channel and share it with your friends and family so other may benefit too good luck Take care, Allah Hafiz.